Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. We just went by that first GameStop dumpster and found one pretty decent sized bag. And look at this. I have not gone through these cases yet, but if just a few of these are in there. I mean, these are all PS4, Xbox One. That would be absolutely amazing. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for Awesome Dumpster Dives every single day. And leave this video a big fat thumbs up. And let's get into it. If I sound a little bit off tonight, it's because I smashed my ankle. My ankle is swollen up to like the size of a baseball. I probably shouldn't even be standing on it, but somebody had to do this. I mean, I can't not do it unless somebody else get my stuff. I'll suffer through it, but if I don't sound like I normally do, it's because I'm in pain. <laughs> Straight up. Well, we got some bags. I always keep the GameStop bags because we like to keep the stuff we find in them. Makes transporting it easy. What are these? Ooh. Ooh. These are those Pokemon that are honestly not even supposed to be out at the day I'm finding them right now. I will put these codes in the end of the video because I can never see them right here because of the light. Sorry if you can't hear me, this dude's truck's annoying, but I will put these codes at the end. You'll be able to see them, hopefully. Oh, my foot's killing me. Let's see what else we got in here. Hopefully some more of those. They're not even supposed to be out. Like, literally GameStop employees are just like taking them. Oh, here's a whole stack of codes. Oh my goodness, more Salazzle. Oop, more of the good ones too. I'll probably put a few more Salazzle codes at the end too. And some more of these guys that aren't even supposed to be out yet. Let me put all those in my pocket. That's a terrible GameStop, man. Just to save those for the people, not scrap them yourself and throw them away like they didn't exist. It looks like that might be all that's in here. Just a few Pokemon cards and some trash, unfortunately. Yeah, that looks like it's it. Oh well, let's get into the exciting part. Look at all these games. There are so many cases in here. I don't even know where to start. Let's just start going through some of these. NBA, just the case. And if these have like Xbox Live codes and stuff like that, I'll give them away on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter and you can get some free codes. These are probably going to just be cases. Once you see one case, they're usually all cases. Let's see. Madden 15, case. Madden 25, just to keep. Oh, no. This one's got the disc in it, but for some reason it didn't sleeve in the side. Hmm. Is it in good condition? Yeah. That disc is fine, just a little dirty. That's cool. I wasn't expecting that. Ah, sorry, my voice. My foot is really aching. Let's check with another handful of them. And that's it. Ugh. That's obviously empty. The Elder Scrolls again. Here's some game codes. Like I said, I'll give some codes away on Twitter, so make sure you follow me on Twitter to get the codes. More. Nothing. And. Whoa. Look at that. This is freaking sealed. Pokemon Moon for the Nintendo 3DS. Look at that. I've never actually found a sealed game before. Actually, I found one Wii one, I think, but never this. What the heck? That's crazy. I don't even own a 3DS, but somebody will definitely want that. Now I need to go through the rest of these. You know what? I'll go through the rest of these in the car while we're driving around. I'll let you know at the end of the video if there are any more games. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the next one. Welcome back, guys. We just went to two more dumpsters and grabbed three more bags. These two came from one. This one came from one. This one's the biggest, but it's the lightest. I hope that plane's not too loud. It's really loud. So let's see what's in the lightest of the bags first. And it's a bag and a bag. Bioshock, no codes or nothing. Let's take this bag out of that bag. Let's see what we got in here first. Some cheese its Um, ew, some strawberries. That's kind of gross. And yeah, that bag has nothing. But like I said, this is the lightest of the two, so our lightest of the three. Sorry, doesn't expect this one to have too much. Hmm. Ten piece tenders. Uh oh, they're living. Ooh, an Xbox One game wrapper. Could the game be in here? That'd be nice. Ugh, gosh, get out of here. Can't see nothing. Okay, let's see. Dead batteries. And man, this game stuff loves McDonald's. Every time I come here, there's so much McDonald's trash. Oh well. Nothing in that one. Oops. Get the whole thing out of the way. Ugh. Okay. 
Let's see what's in this one. All right. There's, ew, that looks like straight puke. What is that? Ew, that's so gross. Oh, there's some kind of case. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It looks like just a display case. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep that. Ew, that's food though. Like, who would eat that? Anything. Doesn't look like it. And that might be it for this one too. What, what is that? Game Informer. They still mail those to me. I unsubscribed from them like two years ago. I still get them. They're desperate to get rid of them. Ew, I need to get this one out. This is a gross bag. There's nothing in there, unfortunately. Now let's go through the last one. Oh, I see a 360 case right off the bat for Batman. Oh, whoa. There we go. This is the second game tonight I found, I guess. I don't know why they put it in a sleeve and then put it in there. It's weird. And it's both discs. Look at that. Just a little smudgy, but hey. That's awesome. I've actually never got to play the Batman games. I'm probably going to be playing this one. I'm not going to sell this one off. I think they threw this away because the case was broken, but I have a bunch of double cases like that that are in perfect condition, so that's no problem. Let's see what else we got. Another Game Informer. These things are just all in the trash. Man. Let's see. Trash. 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 More trash. Man. This is... You know what's weird? Like when I found these bags, it looked like there was a loose DS game. That's why I was excited to go through them, but I have not found it. Hmm. Maybe it was just something else, but it looked like from the outside of the bag there's a loose DS game in one of them, but I don't know. It looks like that is it. We did get that awesome Batman game, but I will see you guys at the next one. Oh, did she just find it? There it is. There it is. I missed it. She just found it in the other bag. I knew I saw it. I wasn't crazy. Metroid for Nintendo DS. <laughs> Almost threw it away. See, that's why you need two people to do this. Now, anyway, I will see you guys at the next one. Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. We just got our awesome haul home, and we had a freaking pretty good night, but I do have some sad news, but I'll get to that in a second. First off, I got a huge stack of new cases. These are all empty. The only game that was in that stack was the uh, Madden game. You saw me fine, but all the rest of those cases ended up being empty. But I'm still working on a wall covering the entire room in cases. So I'm really, really happy to find cases right now. Got another stack of Salazzle codes. And if anyone wants Salazzle codes, let me know in the comments on Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want. I have hundreds of these and I'll gladly give you one for free. I also found this. I almost missed it. I was about to throw the bag away. My fiance was throwing it in the trash and saw it in there. I knew I saw one of these when I picked that bag up, but I could not find it on the video. But we got Metroid Hunters for a Nintendo DS right there. Now, I did get some of these Pokemon codes, which are the new ones. They are scratched already, so they could be used. I don't know. Maybe they're not. But anyway, I know since they're new, people will want them. So here these are right here. Again... Employees might have used these themselves and threw them in the trash. I don't know so they could not work, but if you're looking to get a head start There's some codes. All right, I did get five of them. I have one more, but it was so badly scratched You couldn't even read the code and next we got Madden 25 here, which was the only game that was in there I went ahead and put it in there and took it out of that sleeve It was in but a complete ps3 game and we got the two disc set of Batman Arkham Asylum. I took them out of that case and put them in some blank Xbox cases I have because that case is busted. But both discs to Batman Arkham City, which is freaking sick because I never ever got to play this one and I'm so excited now. And this is, I think, the price tag on it said 30 bucks for the two disc set, which is freaking sick. Now, I do have a little bit of bad news and maybe sad when I was looking at it. We found the sealed game in the dumpster, right? And I was psyched. Then I started looking at it and look at the back for display use only. I was devastated as you can see. I haven't opened it yet, but I seriously doubt there's going to be a game in it. 
But I'm going to go ahead and open it just to see what's in there. Since it does say display use only, I'm genuinely really curious. Let's see what we got in here. Probably just an empty case, but I've just never seen a display case have plastic over it. Like, that just doesn't make no sense. Why would you put plastic over a display case? You know what I mean? All right, let's get this thing open. If I can with one hand, this is pretty challenging. All right, you know what? I'm going to cut it. Hold on one second. Let's cut this thing open. Slice and dice. All right. There we go. Let's see if there's anything in here. I don't think there's going to be a game since it says display only. And it's plastic, man. It's like government wrap. You don't want you to get in here. Well, let's see if there's a game in here. I seriously doubt there's going to be, but let's see. And just a freaking display case in the plastic. That was devastating. I had a feeling that's what it was going to be once I saw that in the car. I was so psyched at first. I thought I found a freaking sealed 3DS game, but for display only. So if any of you guys dumpster dive and you see that, don't get excited so you don't get dropped down like I did. The only other thing I found was a few Xbox Live codes. I'll give these away on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do that. The link will be in the um, channel art and in the description usually. But I give away geese codes I find in the cases all the time on Twitter. So if you need that, make sure you check the Twitter account out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster dives every single day. And until next time, peace out.